This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 23 of Diablo 4 on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were people, although I have reloaded the game, but we are exactly where we were at the end of the last part. Uh, we do have some rewards to collect people, so let's, uh, and we've got a level up as well, which I forgot to do at the end of the last part. So claim rewards with Y, uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, it looks to be on the left tab, there it is. 25,000 gold. Oh, and a skill point. We're going to have two skill points to spend here, people. Fucking hell. Fire. That's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it's a way to start a new episode, isn't it? Right, claim. Bloody marvellous, that is. So what's the next one on that list? 60,000 gold and 80 max obols. Paragon points thereafter, which is after level 50, I think. 150,000. Anywho, let's get back to it. Let's get to the exciting bit of leveling up. We are going to crack into the campaign, methinks, in this particular part. Get a bit of story going. Right, we were invest. Here we go. We we're investing in that badger there. Which, in theory, is giving us an extra 6% damage on basic, I think. Damage bonus of 12% is the next one. Yeah, you deal 6% increased damage to healthy and injured enemies. Well, it doesn't say basic, though, does it? It just says damage in, to in total, I think. I did have my doubts as to whether this... Were, oh, mind you, we're using poison. It does seem to be anything that links to subterfuge, by the looks of it. And we're using poison trap off of that. But it doesn't specifically say in this particular passive that it is a subterfuge thing. It just says damage bonus of 12%. Uh, and it's on healthy and injured enemies. And I think we established that healthy was... A, yeah, it says there. Above 80%. And below 35%. So we're going to take that up to 12. And then up to whatever it is after that. 16 maybe? No, 18 it would be if it's going up in sixes. What's the next one? You deal 3% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. You know, we better doing that one first. Using a cooldown increases your dodge chance. While stealthed. No, we don't use stealth. Gain a bonus when attacking based on weapon type. Bows get 4% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. Gain 6% damage reduction against damage over time effects. Rugged. Gain 6% damage reduction against damage over time. Oh, that's the one I was just on. Yeah, I think we'll keep doing the one we were doing. I think there was one that was kind of sturdy. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, you gain 4% close damage reduction. Because we tend to get surrounded a lot. Uh, and slapped a lot from close range. So if that's going up in lumps of 4, it could be super handy for us. Uh, I'd be very tempted with that as we go forward. But I think there's only 3 to the one we're doing though, isn't there? So we come to sturdy next. Yeah, there's only three. So this would actually, if we use the two points on this one, that would take us to then sturdy. Yeah, 18% for the next one. Nice. So that's maxed out. So I think on the next one, so we're getting 18% extra damage on healthy and injured enemies. Anything above 80% and anything below 35%. Which is good at the beginning of a fight and good at the end of a fight. I think we'll do sturdy next because I quite fancy that. So that'd be eight. We'll go up to twelve percent extra damage reduction for close slappings. 
siphoning strikes. Critical strikes against close enemies have up to 75% chance to heal you for 1% of your maximum life. Pretty handy as well, so you're gaining health every time you get slapped. Oh no, only on critical strikes though. Not sure how good that would be. Anywho, let's crack on, shall we? Inventory should be clear, yeah it is. Right, I'm going to avoid the exclamation marks for now. I'm going to crack on with the story, which was the promise of the last part. Have a little wander around the town, though, just see what's going on. I mean, the because you get the blue points, don't you, for doing these uh, quests, but... A... Yeah, Renown. Side quests. Zero of 38 in this area. So, I'm just wondering... Yeah, it might well be worth doing some of these for... Because, I mean, that, that first one there on 95 of 200 is another skill point. In fact, there's two skill points in this one. And I think the only way we can get these is Renowned. So that's the only way to get them is to get these blue points, which is the side quests. Well, any of that stuff at the bottom. Discovering waypoints, stronghold, uh, finishes, side quests, which is probably the... Plus, side quests let you discover the area as well. So it was a bit of an argument uh, to say do some of it. Ah, fuck it. Let's go. Should we do some side questing? It's going to get extra skill points. Doing ourselves a massive damage if we don't do anything with them. Husa, Husan. Are you in a hurry to leave? Nosy, are we? I'm heading south to start training as a mason. My mentor says that we can be of great help to the people there. If you're interested in helping some people, find Lacrin in Alzuda. Okay. Malign Devotion. Well, if we pick up all of these blue ones, we can just do them at our leisure, I suppose. Sometimes they trigger straight away, though. Follow people, that sort of thing. Gelek. <clears throat> you look troubled. Five times. Five times this month, those brigands have plundered incoming caravans. I care little for the stolen gold and spices, but those vultures take the food as well. Now those knaves gorge on our food while I watch my children waste away. Please, if you can recover any supplies, I'll personally see that your coin purse is filled. Okay. Thieves' famine. You seem troubled too. It's my sons, Orden and Kada. They used to work here with me in Kedbadu, but then they got it in their heads to set up a new shop in Chirandai. You know how young men get when they're of age, desperate to prove themselves. If you are headed that way, would you mind checking up on them? The roads are so dangerous these days, and I haven't heard from them in so long. Don't worry, I'll look into it. Corroding metal. Though metal spelt a bit differently. Okay, so where does that leave us with... Uh, well, there's one other exclamation mark there. Yeah, I mean, the more I play the game, the more I realise you're doing yourself a massive injustice if you don't do some of these blues and discover the areas properly. <sighs> Missing out on massive skill points and all sorts. Gertie, Forge Master. Is something wrong? 
The great axe of the Oxen tribe has gone missing from the forge, stolen by swift hands. It is an heirloom of Raycor, war master of change. Its edge claimed countless demons upon Ariat, yet showed no wear. Its craft matched its keeper. The Triune has tried to take it before, cubs looking to prove their worth. They learned their place, but remain persistent. We've seen them hiding around the ruins on the southern coast. If they have the axe, it's sure to be there. Crucible of Worth. Okay. Why would the Triune steal Rikor's axe? Demon blood stains the axe from half to head. The blood of fiends who fed on children of Ariat. I'm sure it intrigues them, draws them to worship, like all things foul and profane. Tell me about Rekor. A barbarian of great deeds. An oxen war master who stood taller than all others. She freed us from the Samaran and proved the strength of a warrior who would not kneel. Very well. Just going to double check. Uh, I think we kind of covered all our bases with upgrades. Yeah, we can't do any more on the legendaries. That chest piece doesn't look upgraded though, does it? It is a legendary now. Takes the armor up, takes damage reduction from distant enemies up, takes all stats up by another one. Poison damage. Uh, oh, poison damage goes up as well. Might as well do it then. Might be a waste of time, right enough. I'll probably get some big drops in this new area, maybe. Ah, oh, well, we've got the coin to do it. Why not? I suppose we're wasting. Oh, we've got loads of materials, to be fair, apart from the higher end ones, I suppose. Yeah, it's going up another lump of armor at a time. And we're getting some good poison damage on top. Nice. Okay. Don't think there's anything else that we'd want to do at this point. I think everything else we've already upgraded that's... Well, apart from the jewelry stuff, but... Yeah. Yeah. Marvellous, thank you, my friend. Right, on, let's pick a quest and get to it, people. Well, we've got a big area here for oh, it's Thieves Famine, so that's just picking up different bits as we discover the area, I guess. That'd be the way out here. Uh, is Thieves Famine the one that's activated, then? Nope. It look, I feel like Thieves' Famine is kind of one that's sort of... Maybe we just collect stuff as we run around, so maybe we'll do the... Yeah, Dry Steps. Yeah, this is the area we want here. Dry Steps. So, let's do Corroding Metal, see where that takes us. Seems to be down the way. Yeah, Malign Devotion seems to be as well. Yeah, they all seem to be down that way, actually. Whoa, fucking hellfire. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to be quite... Yeah, here we go. They're all over this way. So they're all kind of within a similar distance, I guess. So we shall head down there then. Studious. Let's go adventuring in the sandy place. Oh, 
man, I'm feeling so much better power-wise power and protection-wise than I was with all that stuff I've been doing with the armor and the perks, putting the, the legendary perks and stuff on the kit. It's making a huge difference. I can feel it. Defo fo show. Plenty of enemies about, aren't there? Definitely, that basic move is doing way more damage than it used to. Superb. Yeah, it does seem to take us out of that area, though, doesn't it? I think that one where the sort of collect you got to do the collectible stuff seems to be up there, doesn't it? Come back to that one then. Teleport, teleport straight back there anyway. That looks a bit glitchy. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Yeah, I've not really discovered any of this area, so I might as well have a look around. Hmm. Can't actually hit them from up here. No, you can. Just not with my basic move. Big shiny chest. And another one down there. Been a while since I've seen some sort of good daggers and stuff drop. Hmm, getting way off, way off path here, people. 
which might be a bit silly to be well not really all the quests it, I was going to say might end up coming back here for side quests anyway but all the side quests seem to be the other way nice ocean down there well or a big lake one or the other yeah of course you get points for discovering each section as well don't you I feel like I'm picking up more gold than I used to before some of the patches. I don't know if that's just a false reading from me, but... <laughs> a couple of people jumped in to help there. I need to take that guy out really, didn't I? Amulet. Hmm, better resistance is uh, plus ten percent damage with ranged weapons, which I am using. A plus twelve. I've got plus twelve percent trap skill damage on my current one, though. Plus one rank of all agility skills, of which we might be using some. But I don't think I want to put it on just yet. I, might, I don't think I'll trash it yet, though. Think about it. I joined an event. What? I know, it's just telling me there's an event about to start in four or five minutes. That might be a dagger, that's Shin. <laughs> this guy come from? Seems to be one of the bigger badges as well, doesn't he? Hey, <laughs> not hundred percent sure if you can. I was just wondering if you can highlight the. Oh, hang on. So that there on the map. Looks like that's it there, behind me. I'm looking for the, the thing that's about to kick off the event. Yeah, here we go. Everybody's hanging around for the big event to kick off. 2 minutes 50, well, we could take part in it. 
going to give us some uh, decent XP and what have you. And some good drops, hopefully. Let's have a look at that weapon while we're waiting. It is a rare dagger and it's got a little bit more in the way of damage and it looks like it's got a bunch of more perks. I'll lose dexterity. Damage to dazed enemies. Overpowered damage. Damage to stunned enemies. I mean, it's not a huge amount better than what I've got, is it? Although it has got a socket in it, I could put uh, something in. Not sure what the loss in dexterity does to me though. Have to think about it. Well, it's the Gathering Legion, this seems to be called. 53 seconds. I don't know if they get different names or whether they're generic titles for these things. <clears throat> I've only done one of these sort of big events before. We did capture it on the channel. Yeah, nice. Won't go down there, though. We've only got 20 seconds before this kicks off. Ha! Not everybody's sure what that was going to do. Yeah, just seems to light it. <laughs> I think it's something to do with the actual thing itself. Right, follow the crowd just to get me bearings, I think. Absolute chaos. avoid that.
Uh, <laughs> I'm not overly sure what just happened. I feel like we're meant to get a drop of some description, but it's not quite popped, maybe. Seek out Auden and Kadar. That's just my quest. Hmm. I think everybody's looking for the same thing and they've all disappeared on me. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it is possible we failed it, of course. Maybe you have to succeed in something before... Everyone just seems to be stood about now. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? I'm not even sure if I got any decent XP out of it. No, okay. Well, that was a giant waste of time. Let's uh, head back to what we were doing. Some assistance. Mind you, it is possible that event put some sort of reward in my area that I've not realised in my menu. But I get the general sense that nobody else was picking any up rewards up either. Band weathered cover. Seems to be a higher level. Oh no, item power is less. Oh, it's because it's fire and poison as opposed to lightning and shadow. Seems reasonable. Another option, isn't it? A rare helm seems to have more armor and plus nine to all stats. Yeah, we'd lose dexterity. Hmm, not sure. I'm getting very uh, <laughs> picky about what I'm picking up now because I know I can put these imbuements on them, or whatever they're called, apexes. I'm pretty happy with the balance I've got at the moment, though, to be fair. Maybe I should just wait for things to drop that are making a, a bigger impact. Oh. 
Well, there's one of the quests. I've come so far. But these rules really hold the answers I seek. Nurbolat. See one of the sons, maybe? Uh, what are you doing out here? Uh, actually, I don't know if this is one of my quests. <laughs> I think this is a whole new quest. I am Nerbalat, a scholar of history and religion. The Cathedral of Light seeks to heal Sanctuary's corruption, and I am working to assist them. <laughs> this region was once overseen by the hand of the Zakaru, whom I've gathered were quite deft at rooting out corruption. I yearned to discover how exactly they guided those who strayed from the light. Thus far, my studies have led me here. I am currently following a thread to an abandoned marketplace nearby. Will you accompany me while I conduct my research? Oh, go on then. I have found multiple First hand knowledge. Which speak of the hand of Zakarum visiting this particular marketplace, inquiring after a family of non-believers in the town nearby. A hey, did it automatically put me on that or not? It did not. Seems to help out, then he give it a bit of a. <laughs> it's doing a bit of boxing. I need more time. There is a cellar here, actually, which well, I suppose we might as well do while we're here. I think he'll stay out here, though. Indeed, this isn't part of the quest, so he's stayed, yeah. Nerbalat is no longer following us. He should still be there when we go out, though. Now, just used to be big move before the big guy came out. Ah. I think all the I think all the guys are dead though that was trying to save. But never mind. <laughs> Does that mean that I failed? Oh no, there's chest there. Lots more armor on the heavy helm. It's got dexterity on it, plus 19. And it's got crowd control duration. And 21 strength, which isn't really much use to us, I don't think. 53 armor is not to be sniffed at, though. It's been a while since we've had a decent helm. Mm, boots can... 
Yeah, boots can go. That's another helm there. Did I, pick, I, I was already aware of that one, though, wasn't I? Sh oh, rank 1 to Shadow Imbuement. Which is mm, not much point to, is there? I think we'll dump that. I think the ring's just good as another option because it does fire and poison, and I don't think I have fire or poison on any of my other rings. I've got one I've got two sets of lightning as it happens. I don't know how I've ended up doing that. Lightning and cold and lightning and shadow. <laughs> don't remember doing that. So there's a bit of a shout that says put the fire resistance and poison resistance one on for that one. Although the other one does have... Oh no, it's got fire resistance on it via the... So that's got cold lightning and fire on it via the socket. So it's not a true depiction that actually. Because it's not taking into account that gem. Uh, 14 life regeneration while not damaged recently. Which is pretty decent. But I'll hang on to the ring, but I might not use it. Uh, why did I not? Oh, it was the dexterity, the loss of dexterity that I was worried about on that ring. Uh, on that knife. Onward. Right, Nurbalat, let's get going again. Why is Nurbalat no longer following me? Where's he gone? Uh, I'm confused. Hang on, what's happening here? Alright. Oh, was I on the wrong thing? Following the wrong path, people. Really? Something tells us we're going back the way we came, people. Zuruk! Is this the place? What are we doing? Uh, what are we looking for? Just, just, 
Give me one moment. I've only read how to do this in books until now. Hopefully we can attune with the spirits in the area. Like so. There. Uh, did it work? Listen well. We are the Hand of Zakarum. The man known as Batzorig is suspected of heresy. Anyone with information as to his whereabouts, come forth at once. Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure where he lives, but I see him with a neighbor of his quite often, and they live to the north, just over there. Oh, incredible. Did you see that? Uh, come, quick. We must follow their trail. Uh, to the north. To the north, huzzah. Please, my friend, don't trouble yourself. Helping us will only endanger you and your loved ones. Ah, there's no time for that. Listen to me, Batzori. Take the children. You remember our cellar in the hills? Go to it. Hurry! Go now! Get to the chopper now! We should try speaking with him. Ask him about Batsorik. Did you know uh, Batsorik? <laughs> if the Zakarum want answers, they'll have to find them elsewhere. You think you can march in here and take whatever you want? Uh, please. We only want to understand what happened here. We've come all this way. We aren't leaving without answers. Then you'll have to go through us to get them. Here we go. Ow. What now? Uh, they attacked. How invigorating. <laughs> uh, that man, Batsorik. He was headed to that cellar to hide. Uh, we should follow him. I'll meet you there. Hurry. Okay. Oh. Of a nasty fight. It's not a cellar though, is it? It's a proper dungeon, that, I think. Most of the inscription has been lost to time. A few barely legible words read, Dare provoke I have bait. Yeah, people keep telling me this, actually. Ratfella keeps telling me that I need to use my emojis more. Or my emotes, or whatever they're called. Not sure that I have it. I've got a taunt, I suppose. There are so many ways I can kill you. Hmm. Well, I thought it was going to be provoke. Uh... Hey, 
Impressive. There are so many ways I can kill you. Oh, what's that done? <laughs> well, it's put a little thing above my head. I'm not sure why, but anyway. Maybe it's done me a massive damage going into this place, but never mind. I feel like it must be giving me some sort of perk. Find anything? I could have sworn I saw someone go in here. Hurry, children. Try to keep quiet. It'll be all right. We know you're in here, Batsorig. How does it feel? Knowing your brethren suffered to hide you in sin. If this is what the Zakarums stand for, we want no part of it. No, wait. Stop! This can't be right. For turning away from the Zakarum, you've sentenced your entire family. You leave me no choice then. I won't let you hurt them. Uh, this feeling. Uh, what's happening? Possessing your body, I think. <laughs> really? Stop! Please! Stop! I... I understand now. Were you just possessed? Are you okay? Uh, I think so. But more importantly, I now have the knowledge I sought. Thank you, Spirit, for showing us the truth. I've seen your suffering at the hands of the Zakarum. The intolerance, the violence. I'm sorry your family couldn't be saved. But maybe others still can. Thank you, both. I will take what I've learned here to the Cathedral of Light. I hope I'm not too late. Plus 30, nice. 11,000 XP. Yeah, we're getting, lump, we're getting decent XP for these as well, which I'm also forgetting, by the way. It is done. Well, <clears throat> we seem to have gone way back from where we were actually heading to. Malign devotion or crucible's worth.
Well, that's an event we're running through there. Well, that kicked off, didn't it? What's this? Seal Pentance Cash. Harvest spirit energy from the undead. Rare sword. Well, there is a dungeon up there, but we're not going to be doing that in this episode. It's a shame you can't just teleport to dungeons once you find them, unless you can, and I've not realised, but I feel like you can't. Like in Kingdoms of Amalur, like once you discover like a, a cave location, you can just teleport straight to it. That'd be quite cool. Same thing with dungeons. Might actually be worth doing this event just to get the if it gives us those ghostly things. <laughs> Might not though. Mm. 
not sure why there's murmuring obols on the floor that I don't seem to be able to. You cannot carry additional obols. All oh, right, okay. Actually, confused as to what they are now. I've forgotten what obols are, people. Is it part of a, another thing? Must be one of those collectible jar things I've got, surely. That's the end of the blue line, I think, for getting my things to fill up this harvest spirit energy. I'm going to stay inside that blue line for now. At least I think that's what it is. Yeah, harvest energy, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Ugh, it's going to make me come out of it now. Well, it might make me come out and go back in again. Looks like it might curve back round again. With a rarely discovered. Might only need one or two more of those little things and that'll be done. Done. Nice, there you go. With the 5000 XP and some shiny gold. Well, I'm interacting with them, but nothing's happening. Oh, well, never mind. Right, let's follow the path to the other quest then. Where's that put us on the grand scheme of uh, 
Ooh, hello. Not far away from getting another skill point here, are we, from following these blues? Another cellar there as well. Good grief, I've gone over the hour mark, people. Fuck off. I totally dodged that. Woo, level 41. Level up and ride your pony. Nice. Woohoo! Nothing too crazy in the drops, and that looks like just a bog standard white pair, so I'm not going to take those. Hey! I think that's full now, isn't it? Oh, that's the obols there. Contains 50 murmuring obols. Requires level 35, man. Ah, okay. Hey, not really worth using those, I don't think. Grants items on use. The dead rest. All oh, right, we collected all the things, so I must have a nice. Hmm, that's frustrating. Well, I've just dropped those orbals, those murmuring obols for no reason then. Yeah, I think I've done something stupid there. You must need a container to carry the obols of which I've just opened, I think. Which is a bit frustrating. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that, really. So, I was clearly carrying those obols in those containers, and I've gone and dumped them. I wonder if I could have got rid of them at a vendor or something. I don't know. Okay, not to worry. The boots like. Mm, nah. Alright. Not so shabby, people. Right, well, I think probably an ideal place to wrap it up for that part and start from this very location to do the other blue exclamation marks we'll be doing side quests. Yeah, hour and ten minutes. Gone well over the hour there. Good episode, though. Got plenty done, and we've got a level up to do. Hey, eh? well, we could get our first... Sturdy that we were going to get. I can remember where it is. It's weapon mastery. Yeah. Is that it there? Yeah. Four percent close damage reduction. Eight percent on the next one. So we'll keep throwing points into that now. And we're not too far away from getting a reward for another point either, which will give us eight percent on close damage reduction. Marvellous. Now oh, that's interesting. You can't see my reward stuff in the... In the cellar. Right, well there you are folks. I shall start the next episode from this very location. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Diablo 4 on the Xbox Series X. And I'll catch you in the next one folks. Take it easy. Bye.